So in today's video, I have another synthetic wig review for you guys. Today's video is brought to you by Outre. Thank you, Outre, for sponsoring today's video. Um, so I recently did a wig review on Outre Katia, and you guys really loved that video. Shout out to y'all for tuning in, and I love that wig too. So if you haven't watched my Outre Katia video, go ahead and watch it. It came out earlier this year, so it should be available, but it's still so popular um, because ladies that reviewed it when it actually came out in January, they blew it up. So it's been it's been out of stock in a lot of colors. So um, I told you guys I was going to review Katiana, which is a new release from Altrey's Melted Hairline series. Katia is from the Perfect Hairline series. So um, I'm going to try to compare the two today to see if this is comparable to Katia because Katia is a winner like she's a winner and I want to see if this is a good alternative because you know this is newer and it has a lot more availability than Katia. So right here she is a straight yakky textured wig. I have taken her out the pack already to see what the texture was hitting for because sometimes like stock cards online you can't really you can tell what the texture is, but then sometimes it'll switch up when it gets to you, so. And I'll try to update you guys if I can ask Altray if they're gonna be restocking Katia as well, because that's a banker. So here is a closer look. It's from the Melted Hairline series, and I have her in the color DR Ginger Brown. I am not new to that. I have tried that in several wigs, from Altre. And I know I said that I have never tried a wig from the Altre Perfect Hairline series, but I actually tried Julianne and I love that wig. So I actually have tried a wig from that line. So let me cut this out. All right, here is Katiana. Katiana and DR, DR2 Ginger Brown. Okay, so it has a dark root. Perfect, because my eye, my eyebrows are pretty dark today, so that's gonna be good. And then we go into the ginger brown, which is beautiful, very autumn. Um, here is a the middle part here. So that's one difference. Let me see the price on Katiana too, because Perfect Hairline I think is a bit more expensive. Katia was forty five dollars. Katiana is uh, it's not that much of a difference in price. Okay, Katia, Katia is $45, a little bit more depending on the website you purchase her from. Katiana, which is this one, is about $39. So, they're, they're about, it's about a $5 difference. Um, but with Katia, it's a 13 by 6. So, you can part it middle, side, uh, middle, left, and right. With this one, this is a fixed part, so I guess that upcharge for Katya is warranted because it has more space to part. But if you don't need all that space to part and you know you love you a middle part, you know, this is what you have here. And I do like, I don't have a problem with wigs that have a stationary part, especially if they have room at the front of the hairline to customize it. It doesn't bother me, but if you're somebody who doesn't like a set middle part then you probably won't like this um you do get a comb on the right on the left you get an elastic band in here um you get a comb in the back and adjustable straps so let's see how she fits on my head katia was a large cat let's see if this is what size this is mm, okay nice and comfortable okay um, I'm gonna say this is a medium cap. I don't feel like it has an excess amount of room in it. Medium. I'm gonna say this is medium cap. Um, so here's the hairline here. The hairline is, let's zoom in so y'all can get a good look. I feel like it is quite thick. 
So it is not pre-plucked like Katia. So this is where you get into like the pricing difference to me because the hairline is not pre-plucked and you don't get the versatility of parting. But this could still be for somebody because this is not ugly. It just doesn't have as many features as Katia, which is why they have the difference between like all companies have like different tiers like with what you get. Like I feel like the Melted Hairline series is like the mid-tier level for Outre and then you get in perfect hair, then you get into perfect hairline which costs a little bit more, but you get more versatility with styling. So this is how long she is. I'm six feet tall and she falls on me about 20 inches, about 20, 20, 22 inches, which is on par with the length, with the length of Katya. It's the same length to me. So this is what it looks like in the back. Okay. Um, as far as density compared to Katya, I feel like they're about the same. This one might be, hmm, I feel like they're about the same. Katya did not have layers. She didn't have layers, but this one does have layers in her. Okay. Yeah, so that's what we have going on. I do feel like I need to um, bring out my hot comb. It's not bad, but I think I'm going to bring out my hot comb. And, you know, I'm going to tweeze the hairline up just a little bit because I do feel like it's a bit dense. And I'm going to probably add a little bit of baby hairs here. You know, and then I'll come back with her all applied. Tiana all applied and everything and I'm gonna get into the pros and the cons and the more comparisons 
uh, to Katya because that's exactly what you guys wanted to know and I'm going to give you guys my opinion on it. So with Katiana, I'm going to go with my pros first. I like that you can wear her glueless. I'm wearing this as a middle part because that's the only way you can wear her. Um, you could shift her if you wanted to, but it's probably going to make the wig uneven, but you can explore that. I'm not going to because this is going to be a set part for me because it's a set part. But I have seen people shift melted hairline wigs before. It's just going to make the wig uneven and you might have to trim it up. So I love the texture just like I loved Katya's texture. It is a nice kinky straight texture. This color is gorgeous. Very perfect for fall. If you wanted some color but you didn't want like something too light, this is so rich and gorgeous. And it has a dark root so it works well with my eyebrows and I don't have to change them. And this is very beginner friendly. I'm wearing this completely glueless y'all. Like I did um, lay my baby hairs down with got to be glued so that's making the hairline lay down. But if I didn't use baby hairs, I wouldn't have to glue this down at all. So you can wear this glueless and it helps that it is a set middle part. Um, as far as like shedding, I did tweeze this hairline up quite a bit. So I do have shedding from that. But if you don't tweeze your hairline, then you probably won't have as much shedding as me. Tangling, I don't have any tangling today, but this is the first time I am wearing this wig. But this is a long synthetic wig that's in its nature for synthetic wigs to tangle. So eventually it probably will. Just use your pure silicone spray. Now, so with the cons with this wig, I the biggest con for me with this wig is that it's not pre-plucked. And I'm reading in the card with what they claim. One of the claims is that it's completely pre-plucked with the hairline and sideburns. It's not pre-plucked. You guys saw the hairline. The hairline was not pre-plucked. You guys saw it. Even after I tweezed it up, it was still very dense um, and not pre-plucked. So um, I did do some baby hairs. I did baby hairs with Katya, but that was optional. I just added some baby hairs to Katya just to, you know, for a little razzle dazzle. I did baby hairs with this one kind of because just to detract away from how round and unpluck the hairline is. So that's a huge con to me and a huge difference between Katia and Katiana. Katiana is not pre-plucked like they are claiming. Katia is pre-plucked. It looks like a human hair wig. Um, I had a couple people in my Katia review um, say that Katia in the black looked like Alexis from my first wig which was like a, an expensive human hair wig that I reviewed a couple of years ago. So that looked like a human hair wig. I feel like this is not, this is not, don't get me wrong. This is not a bad wig. It's just not, it just doesn't look like Katya. Like even though these are essentially both kinky straight synthetic wigs, they are not equal to me. So um, I'm glad I did this review for you guys. I feel like, I hope I'll trade with the, with the, Melted Hairline series, they actually tweeze their hairlines before, you know, doing releases. Not to say that this is a bad wig. It's just, if I would have tried Katiana first, I probably, you know, wouldn't have seen all the cons in it like I would now. So that's the biggest difference between the two. The hair essentially feels like the same, but the lace and it not being pre-plucked is a totally different situation. Now, with Katia in the Perfect Hairline series, they do have that faux scalp, so you have to cut that out, and that's another step. But that's not, that's only going to take you probably five minutes, and that's not going to um, be a huge con for me. So overall, I do feel like Katia is a better option, but this is not a bad option, and I would give Katiana a solid eight. I wouldn't say don't get this. This is a nice straight wig, but is she, is she Katia? She is not. She is, to me, she's more similar to Altre Nisha because Altre Nisha was not serving hairline to me. She's more comparable to Nisha 203 to me versus Katia. Katia is up here. Nisha 203 and Katiana are down here to me. They feel good and everything, but the how natural and real this area looks is, you know, on different levels to me. So 
I hope I'll trade restocks Katya because she is overall a better option because not only do you have more versatility with parting and a better hairline that is actually pre-plucked, she's only like $45 and this wig is $39. So that's a $5 difference and you get so much more with Katya. So I'm gonna give Katiana an eight. Katya was a nine and a half, 10. I think she's a better option, but she is not a bad wig. Katiana is not a bad wig. It's just when you get exposed to something that's a little bit better, I don't know, it's just kind of hard to go back. So um, I, I feel like this was a good review. I was very fair. I see the positives with Katiana, but overall, Katia is a better deal. Katiana is a brand new release, like I told you guys. So she's going to be more available. Um, and Katia, even though she was, she was released in 2021, she is still out of stock on a lot of websites. So I'm hoping that Altrey does restock Katia so you guys can get your hands on her. I purchased mine earlier this year, so that's why I still have mine. So yeah, so tell me down below, what do you guys think of Katiana? What do you think of Katia versus her and everything? Talk to me down below. Shout out to Altrey for sponsoring today's video and shout out to my Premier Squad for watching this with me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.